Okay, next question we're going to look at is um, we're given plan elevation of a cone and we're also given plan elevation of point P. So the first thing they're asking us lads is the traces of a plane which is tangential to the cone and contains the point P. Right? There are a number of ways of doing this. Um, if we think back to our solids in contact question, this type of thing comes up a good bit. So what I would do based on that is I'm going to draw a cone second cone that has point P as its apex and I'm going to make sure that it has the same pitch as my original cone. That way it's going to be very easy to rest a plane on top of it because I'm just rest it against the two cones. And point P is going to be the top of the second cone so it will contain point P. So what we'll do is in elevation, now there's no need to go draw on the entire cone, we're just looking for the slope of it. So we just draw one side of the cone. And point P going down. That would be the side of a theoretical cone that I could draw. What I'm taking really is the radius of it. So I'll drop it down to my plan view. And I draw in the plan view of what that cone would look like. You're drawing your plane, you're looking for your horizontal trace first. When you're drawing a horizontal trace, you want a, a, at least two points on the ground. So if you have these cones, the base of those cones are on the ground. So what you can do is you can draw a plane that is tangential to your two circles. Now you could draw it in a number of directions. You could draw it out like that, okay, so it's tangential to the outside of both of them. Or if you wanted, you would also be correct if you wanted to draw one that what kind of went in between them. Both of those would be correct. In this case, I think the most common one that people would draw would be the one tangential to outside of both of them. So we draw a horizontal trace. We're bringing it up as far as the XY line. And then if you remember, to find our vertical trace, we're taking the angle of the horizontal trace we're going to whatever our highest point is. Our highest point is the top of our original cone. We're replicating the angle. And we're taking a height reference. We get our height reference that's on the vertical trace. And we join it back to our origin, whereas where our horizontal trace hits the XY line. And that's our vertical trace. Okay, so that would be a plane, the traces of a plane that contains that cone and point P. Part B, something similar to what we came across yesterday. We're looking for the true angle between the traces of the, that should say plane, not plan. The true angle of the traces between the plane. Now yesterday we said there was two methods for this. You can look along a horizontal trace, you can create an auxiliary view, or you can do the rotation method. So seeing as we did the first method yesterday, we'll do the rotation method today. In order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to just pick a random point. It doesn't matter. Anywhere along the XY line. Okay, so I'm going to pick here. And we're going to take a height reference. Now when you're doing your rotation method, basically what you're doing is you have a plane. You want to measure the angle between the traces. So you can't measure it if it's pointed away from you. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip it downwards so it's flat. You're going to see it in the plan view and then you can just measure the angle. So the method for doing that, like I said, is pick a random point along this XY line, it doesn't matter where, and take a height reference. So we bring it up to the vertical trace. Hit the vertical trace here. What we're going to do is we're going to flip that point around. So that involves coming perpendicular to my horizontal trace in the plan view and rotating the point around from the elevation down to the plan view. Okay, so I hope you're okay with what I did, what I did there. This is my random point I selected. That's where it hits the vertical trace. <coughs> I'm spinning that around, down from elevation to the XY line, and then down into the plan view. At the same time, I'm coming out perpendicular from a horizontal trace from point X, I'm bringing it out, and what will happen is those two will cross over. 
where they cross over I join back to my origin and what I'm left with is the angle between my new line and my horizontal trace is the angle between the traces so that's the angle we're looking for